Hello everyone, welcome to VMware Arena YouTube channel. If this is the first time you are watching video on this channel, please do subscribe to the channel. Also click on the bell icon to receive the notification about the new videos which I am posting about VMware virtualization and other virtualization technologies. In this video, I am going to explain you how can you disable a DRS for an individual virtual machine in the DRS enabled cluster. We can also modify the individual automation level for the virtual machine using this option. So I'm going to talk about VM override option. Please do watch this video till the end to understand the detailed process and how does we make these changes. Okay, so VMware DRS basically we motion the virtual machines to load balance the a cluster based upon the resource utilization right so there are some scenarios uh, imagine you are running on a virtual machine with with a uh, legacy application which may broke or which may go down when vmotion was happen uh, i i still remember uh, uh, we have few application like that uh, there are few application which are very very sensitive to the latency so there are some situations when uh, drs load balance the virtual machine uh, by vmotioning to one different dsx host we notice that application went down it it causes impact to the uh, application and the production system so these are all the you know like uh, some of the special case virtual machines we have to manually control and vmotion the virtual machines especially when we patch or perform a maintenance on the uh, ESXi host in the DRS enabled cluster. So usually DRS um, whatever setting we configured the DRS we will configure at the cluster level right. So we don't uh, configure the DRS for individual virtual machine. So uh, if, uh, the, if you imagine if you are running uh, such a legacy uh, VM application which is uh, problematic to the vMotion so we want to disable or manually control the vMotion of that particular virtual machines but for a single virtual machine or group of virtual machine uh, we cannot just change our or disable the drs right there are a lot of uh, uh, advantage of uh, using vmware drs so in this particular case then how can we achieve this so we can make use of vm override option i'm going to explain you everything okay so i have a cluster where drs is enabled and automation level is fully automated so when i set the automation level of drs as fully automated so what does is what it does is it will automatically vmotion the virtual machine to different host in the same cluster to load balance the cluster right so uh, if you are running on virtual machine which is problematic to the vmotion or some of the legacy applications may broke down during an vmotion or some of the clustered application where uh, we we uh, vmotion uh, there will be a loss between the heartbeat network or something uh, i come across uh, uh, this kind of application so we have to uh, disable or control the vmotion of that particular virtual machine right to do that we have to add a vm override option so to click on uh, to add a vm override just click on configure um, under the configuration we see vm overrides just click on plus to add the vm overrides first search for the virtual machines which we want to configure the vm override option okay so in my example i'm going to configure on a vm override for a virtual machine called app iphone 01 okay just search for the virtual machine um so select the virtual machine which we want to add it add it as, as part of vm override option okay just click on next so this is not only for drs right so we can also uh, override ha related settings what you have applied at the cluster level for imagine you have applied some settings to the um, ha related specific things on uh, uh, your cluster level but we can also override the other settings as well so to change the drs automation level if you want to disable the vmotion so we can always uh, select uh, disable so that you know it will not vmotion at all that virtual machines so if you select manual so basically uh, we have to manually vmotion the virtual machine uh, i prefer to set it as a manual because you know like uh, so whenever we place the ESX host as maintenance uh, mode as well so this VM will not migrate it so we have to manually uh, vmotion that virtual machines uh, to place that particular ESX host into the maintenance mode okay so as of now I just set it as manual just enable the override ops uh, tick mark and uh, select the 
automation level whichever you want okay so similarly we can also modify the HR related um, um, configurations and settings for this individual virtual machine to override the settings which we have applied at the cluster level right so there are a lot of things what is uh, VM restart priority um, we can also uh, specify uh, PDR, PDL related uh, permanent device loss related settings, APD related settings and virtual machine monitoring options under vSphere HA. So all these things we can just click on override and uh, change the settings so that the settings applied to the virtual machine will be differ than what is applied for the cluster, right? So there are some special cases or some use cases which may need it uh, to override uh, these settings at the individual virtual machines one of the use case which I talked about it is uh, is a legacy applications where it is well uh, you know like it, it is problematic to the V motion okay so I just uh, selected as a manual just click on finish so we are overriding my cluster automation level as fully automated this particular virtual machine drs automation level is manual so basically i override the settings which it comes from the cluster level so whenever even if i place the esxi host into the maintenance mode uh, so this virtual machine will not be vmotion right so if when i place the esxi host in maintenance mode the other virtual machines which uh, where the automation levels come from the cluster for example let's say your cluster is fully automated so all the virtual machines in the cluster will be fully automated right so all other virtual machine will be migrated uh, automatically will be vmotion automatically to other ESXi host but this virtual machine whatever the virtual machine we set it as a manual uh, via the VM override option this VM will not be migrated it will stay on the ESXi host so for example um, if you are performing any maintenance on the ESXi host and uh, uh, there are some problematic application uh, which is running on this particular virtual machine so you can work with the application team and your uh, you know like your um, application support team to bring down the application or to monitor the application or get the downtime for this particular applications then we can manually control and v motion this virtual machine this settings will be extremely useful during this situation i hope this video helps you to understand what is uh, vm overrides um, settings how can we override the cluster uh, drs and ha settings using vm override thank you so much stay safe Please do subscribe to the channel. Bye-bye.